Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching from. Welcome to God Love Life Truth Channel. I hope you are enjoying your Sunday and your weekend. Happy Sunday everyone. Today, here I am again with another topic uh, titled Relating Points Start From You. I prepared this message for yesterday because yesterday was my birthday, but I did not have uh, enough time. I was very busy yesterday. I did not have enough time to focus and make the video. So today, I will make the video today. Um, this video, I thought about it the day before my birthday. Uh, the place I will refer in the Bible, today I have a uh, Bible reference for this message. So the place I will refer you to read if you have time, even if you don't have time, make out time to read this uh, place. It's very important. Mark chapter 6 from verse 20 to 29. The main place for this um, um, topic, the main place in the Bible. You should read also is Psalms 90 verse 12. So it's talking about like learn to you know number your days. So that is the reference that I want to use for this uh, topic. Yesterday, 15th of August was my birthday and after that today i have time to make this video so it's just like some info information or some something that can help all of us like as we are building character attitude towards building relationship with god and human being that's why i make this video because all of us we are human being and one day we, we 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 are born and brought to the earth which most of us here on earth celebrate birthday that's why um i prepare this message so because we sometimes we have bad birthday or this event or this occasion like birthday some people use it you know to do a lot of things you know some people have crates or enmity because of birthday, because of somebody they invite or they invited to their birthday didn't come, or because somebody didn't give them the gift they like. You know? So I thought about this and I said I should, you know, send message. We should learn to start relating to ourselves because relationship starts. Relationship point, like I say, relationship it starts from you. You should not wait for somebody to do something for you. Something, little things that you can do for yourself. Like some people do before their birthday, they announce it like they, uh, they, you know, announce it, announce it. I wanted to say like, I know it's a big deal to number your days. To remember like for the past years you have been God have you know keep you that is what like for me the point that we should you know use in their baby to celebrate God's glory God's uh, love upon our life but I know like most of the time like now during the, 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 the days we are living now because of so many things people use this day or even before this day, the occasion to create unnecessary problem that they are not supposed to, you know, have. Some people lost their friendship because of this. Like now in Africa, like some people, when their birthday birthday is reaching, they are disturbing some people. Like people are brought my birthday is my birthday is my birthday birthday gift. What are you requesting for your birthday? And how are you requesting it? Think about it. Are you using your birthday 
to request something that does not give God glory? Are you using that day or bad day occasion to do something that give God glory or something that doesn't give God glory? Are you using that occasion, that event of bad day, maybe bad day party or whatever celebration you do that day to make problem, to create enmity? Because somebody didn't give you gifts. Because somebody did not come to your birthday. Like in the, the place I, I, I use, one of the places I use for reference, that is in, in Mark chapter 6 verse 20 to 29. If you read about the story, Herod daughter, on Herod uh, birthday, she danced very well. And read about this story by herself. And her father asked her, what do you want? Request anything you want and I will give it to you. She requested head of John the Baptist. If you read in, in this place I sent to you, Herod was protecting John the Baptist. But during her birthday, because her daughter danced, she, couldn't, she could not keep or control has himself, or still keep the protect uh, John the Baptist. He did something that is not good because of his birthday. Today, some of us, like I say, like why we are sinning is relating with people. And also the, the like the things we want, all the things we are desiring. Are we desiring something good on our birthday? Are we using that day to glorify God, to thank God for giving us healthy life, for keeping us? Instead of making unnecessary requests. Because like all the points, all the topic that I'm pre presenting to this media, to this channel, it's help. These are the way we build character because if people learn, as you are building your relationship with God and your personal human being, you learn this, you will not make it like a big deal to, to create a sin because of your birthday. You will not be waiting for somebody to give you gift. You don't know if the person have the gift or not. You will not be fighting somebody because you invited somebody to your bed and the person didn't come. You don't know what the person is doing. You don't know what is her, his or her plans. Some people, even some people give them birthday gifts and they are complaining. They say the gift is not good. Think about this. Are you spoiling relationship with your fellow human being? Because of your birthday. Because it was my birthday yesterday. Day before yesterday, I prepared this message. I make the birthday. I'm here like I'm here. Not too long. I knew people, but I know how to. I'm learning always. Like I have learned how to control some things that concern me. Like I told you in one of my messages, like you can only control your feelings, your emotions. If you learn to control your emotions, your feelings, whatever that concern you, because you cannot have control over another person, but you can control yourself. I have learned to control my feelings in some things. Like I did not use my birthday to, you know, I don't make it like a, I don't use that day to create a sin, to create something that I'm not, that is not supposed to give God glory. I had it yesterday and I had it very nice. Um, people that I met yesterday, my neighbors brought, they didn't know that I'm having a bad day. Even my neighbors, they say that I just told them on Friday evening. We really had good time and one of the, the, the person that came, other people were having fun and they called him and he came. When he, he was going, they were going. He said, on oh, your, your birthday next year, call me, please. 
So, we use the day to celebrate God's love in our life. I don't know these people, but I invite I invited uh, their friend, which is my my neighbor, invited them, and they didn't know that it was my birthday. We enjoy it. That is love of God. We should, you know, celebrate. Not using our birthday or birthday occasion or event to, you know, create uh, something that is not pleasant to God and to our fellow human being. People have fight on their birthday. People have create enmity on their birthday. People have even worried themselves, oh, my birthday is coming, I don't have money, oh God, why this and that? Like, I don't have money to buy this. Even people go to steal because of their birthday. People go to borrow, people go to, you know, lie because of what you have to use to glorify God. I want us to think about this. Do we make good request on our birthday did we use our birthday to glorify god learn to give yourself the gift you want others to give you you can buy something for yourself on your birthday don't wait for someone to buy for you you can cook for yourself if you have few friends you want to celebrate with you celebrate if you have family or even which family you want to celebrate, you celebrate. You can even do whatever you want. I didn't say don't request. You can request, but your request is it glorifying God. Will God be happy and say, yes, this is my daughter or this is my son. I gave her years and today I added another year in her life or in his life. And she's grateful or he's grateful. She's not fighting, she's not making problems, she's not requesting unnecessary requests like the head of uh, mm, how the daughter of Pharaoh, uh, daughter of uh, Herod requested uh, John the Baptist's hair. Or how uh, Herod that was protecting uh, John the Baptist go against his will because of his birthday. Let's just consider one this topic because all of us we have birthday. Even some of us, even we don't celebrate our own, we celebrate our children, our friend, our our daughter, our husband, our wife. How do you celebrate? How do you number your days? What do you request? Thank you very much for taking your time to listen to this uh, message of birthday this message that says relationship or relating points start from you thank you very much for taking your time to listen please subscribe if you like the, the message thumb up press that red button in case in future when I made other message other video you will you know be notified and make comments because your comments will really help put your own um, experiences on that comment uh, session and take care of yourself continue building your relationship with god with your fellow human being look at all the topic that i i put it's very interesting pick something out of it and use it to build your character, your attitude, your, your behavior towards building relationship with God and with your fellow human being. Until next time, it's God's love. Take care of yourself. Bye for now.